How's it going, ladies and Bruce? This is up, Bobby Six Kill, and welcome back to Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. Now, I know we were playing through the whole game a second run, but I feel like we need to go back to episode three, Green with Envy, because I have to try and save Joe at least one more time. Let's just jump into that one, and then we'll carry on again. Um, because, hang on, let's look at our stats, so we know what we have and haven't done. Maybe it's this one? Good cup, bad cup? Refuse to help Violet dry up? We should try that too, I suppose. Alright, let's jump in. Alright, we'll skip the intro this time. Let's just jump in. We can do this. Call on line three. Is that a bad thing? I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's dead. We imagined all that. So we take the call then? We've done both options on this one. Let's just take the call. Like we did the first time. Who is it? Hello? He will die if you let him. Frankie? The boy... The order you do things is... important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Frankie's dead. Who is this? Listen, just listen! She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines between the dots. I just see the final picture. And here's Yvette on line two. I love your show. Thanks, Yvette. I love your accent. <laughs> What's your question? My question is, do you care about people? That's a strange question. It's an AMA, Monroe. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, I know. But do we care about people? Yes, of course. Speak mm. for yourself, Monroe. I'm an animal lover myself. So you don't care about people? No, I do care about people, just I care about animals more. So you care about animals more than people? Present company excluded, of course. So that's a yes? And or no. Wait one moment, that. So if I was crossing the road at the same time... Here we go, let's bunny, get into it. And you could only swerve and save one of us. You would choose the bunny. We did the bunny last time. I'd save you, obviously. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> I said I'd save you. And how long did you have to think about it? I like to consider things. You have a split second. Well, I wasn't timing it. Fine. Save me or a cat? You. You said that quickly to get on my good books, didn't you? No, I'm not a big cat fan. <laughs> oh! What? Does that answer If you're an animal lover, you don't get to pick and choose which ones yes, you like. I think so. I do have another dilemma. Maybe we can help you that. I'd rather not say on air. That's all right. Happy to help. It's about time for a short break anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer more of your AMA questions. Until then, here's something slightly more interesting instead. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. A hostage. I don't know how we're going to do this. It's a boy from August I. Why it's obviously about who you visit on the map screen first. Crush on him. There must be a, 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 an order you can do it to get the information faster. So you kidnapped him? No. I drugged his drink. Is he okay, Yvette? Not really. He has not woken up yet. But now that I've spoken to you, I'm probably just going to let him die. I like animals more than people anyway. Like Paul. Yvette, I was joking with Monroe. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Did you get the number? No, it's withheld. Maybe she was joking. We should call <laughs> the police just in case. Tell them what was said. Really? I'm not sure. You're not calling the police seemed like a better option. Why aren't you sure? I don't trust August police. They're the police. Exactly. Poor Dupont. We don't even know who's been kidnapped. Yes, we do. We do? Do you even listen to yourself reading the August update? Not really. I normally drift off. You drift off? I imagine myself at the opera. I'm on stage, and there's this beautiful young lady in the front mm -hmm. row. 
But she's dressed like a cat. Okay. Let's circle back to that another day. Okay. So what are you saying? <laughs> we work the case ourselves. That boy could get hurt. Not if we hurry up. Hurry up. Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah, yes, I remember. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. What are the odds that Yvette has got Joe hostage? I'd say pretty high. Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. I know the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk to her. Maybe the parents. They asked for the story. This is our last attempt at saving this guy. Don't you want to go back to school? You clearly had a better childhood than I did. I still have my cheerleading outfit. That's settled then. Let's talk to the headmistress first. What's her name? Dallas Umber. That's a strange name. She's a strange woman. Take a seat, both of you. True, she is strange. Whilst it's admirable that you're returning to complete your education, you're a little old for this institution. Burn. Sorry, you're mistaken. <laughs> I have a degree in cryptozoology. That's not a real degree. It's okay, Paul. She's messing with us. Really? Yes. I'm eccentric. Can't you tell? <laughs> uh, well, we're here about Joseph Watts. <laughs> and there was I thinking I was going to be on the radio. Joseph is a pupil here though, right? He certainly is. Head boy and heartbreaker. Heartbreaker? <sighs> He's a good looking lad. Generous nature. Always helping people. Any idea where he could have gone? <laughs> Probably at some young lady's house whose parents are away. He went missing yesterday, and we had a caller on Radio August who said they'd kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Oh, sounds a bit far-fetched. We're looking for him, so anything you can tell us would be useful. Oh, you'd be better off talking to his form tutor, Miss Clay, but... How was Joe doing at school? Oh, he was doing as well as he could for a boy. For a boy? Boys aren't as clever as girls, academically, Poe. They don't apply themselves enough, especially in mixed-sex schools. Is this a mixed-sex school? Mixed-sex? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. She is very eccentric. Was Joe being bullied by anyone? No. Joe's a sporty type. Not sure he'd be easily pushed around. Do you, you know any pupils called Yvette? Not recently. Why, are you looking for someone called Yvette? It's the name of the kidnap. And by recent you mean? Well, I was at school with an Yvette, but that was many moons ago. Not in August. Different country, actually. Well, we should be off now. Here's my number, if Joe turns up, or if you think of any place he might be. Thank you, Mrs. Amber. It's Miss Amber. Of course Miss it is. Amber. You too, take care. You're a little bit crazy for or someone to have to live with you. Town it used to be. <laughs> Who do we get to go see now? What is that about? Why do you throw that away? They're all in on it. I still reckon that. It's a hot fuzz situation. What's our next move, Munro? Who did she say Joe's teacher was again? Miss Clay. If we can find her address, we should visit her. I think she's staying at the guest house. Why do you think that? I saw... I'm worried about what Frankie said. Is this the right move? I have no idea. Let's go and see Miss Clay. And hope she's at the guest house. I like making mm. the decisions. I'm very happy to be woman-led. I know you are, Poe. Yeah, that's that's what he's about. Whether we're making the I'm right talk decisions, to Gallagher. I don't know. You find Miss Clay. Yeah, let's go talk to Violet. Oh yeah, we get to do this bit again. <laughs> Hello, it's Alice. Alice Monroe from the radio. Yeah, from the radio. And what brings you here, Miss Monroe? One of your guests, actually. Well, I'm happy to chat, but you will need to help me strip. Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> Last time we clicked on the bed and she got on the bed all weird like. <laughs> it's funny that <laughs> the Violet doesn't say anything as she like approaches her. The bed. I like your dress. It matches my patience. Long and unyielding. If you go around the other side, I find that <laughs> tends to work best. <laughs> the look at your face. I'm assuming this is about Miss Clay. She is my only guest. Yes, the school teacher. One of her pupils has gone missing. Well, being held hostage, actually. Hostage? We had a caller on the radio. Someone calling themselves Yvette said that they'd taken this boy, Joe Watts, hostage. Watts? Oh, yes. The family's been in August for a long time. They manufacture and sell fireworks, of all things. I guess we, every single interview we have needs to get us a little bit closer to the, to the truth, to the information we need. Makes my thyroid but some of them don't really get us anyway. They're fun though, right? If you're an unethical hedonist. I will Google that when I get home. Do. Um... Did you ever meet Joe Watts? Never met him. August High is a grammar school though, isn't it? So, presumably, he's clever enough or rich enough to be there. And Yvette? Yvette. Yes, I did have an Yvette stay here last year. I think her family were just passing through though. Her mother was an electrical engineer for a big television company. She did fix my reception though. I think that's her. Was she Britishy? Oh yes, Britishy. That quintessential accent of the United Kingdom. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's okay, Miss Munro. I'm just teasing you. No, she was uh, Russian. Yvette had a French accent. If you think of anything that might help, please give me a call at the radio station. Surely you want me to call the police if I notice anything? No. I'd rather you called us first, if that's okay. Do the police know what's going on? His dad doesn't want the police to know. Very well, then. I shall do as I'm told. Thank you. I know we're going to find him. Okay, this is different. She didn't do this last time. Oh, because we didn't call the police and then we no. also told her not to call the police. Yes, I'd like to report it. First time we did call the police and then we told her not to call the police, I think. Well, I didn't get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litter bug. So she's an eco-warrior? Yes. I wish we could have recycled our meeting, actually. How was Miss Gallagher? Kind of dominant. I liked her. Maybe I shouldn't let you hang around with other redheads. Maybe you shouldn't. Uh, let's circle back to this later. Uh, did she say anything useful at all about Joe? She said Joe's parents sold fireworks. Mm, I suppose that could be useful. Anything else? She said the only event she knew was Russian and an electrical engineer. So I'm guessing that's not our event. Not very did she helpful. Say anything about Miss Clay? Not really. I probably should have asked more questions. I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Seems we're out of leads. I'm still up for visiting the headmistress again. We could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give it up, Alice. I'm trying. I think last time we went back then? to Violet, so let's go to the headmistress. Let's see Dallas Umber. Want to play good cop, bad cop? Do we have to? Okay. You be good cop, and I'll be bad cop. You're going to rough her up? Yeah, no, beat her up. Just, if you think she's not telling us everything, leave it to me, and I'll get the goods. I'm not going to lie. I would. 
She's coming. Oh, we're gonna let we're gonna let Monroe deal with this. <laughs> Gotta get the bank up on this one. You're lying, Dallas. About what? The missing kid. Kids. Kids. It's not a secret, is it? We've had two other children disappear. Oh, we've done this already. Do the police know? Yes. They know. The first girl was fostered, so although she went missing, it was... She's been abducted. No, just back on the street somewhere, anywhere. We're not here. So, they're not even looking for her. No, I expect they are. But I'm just a head teacher. Of a school that loses children. I don't lose children. They don't go missing on my watch. It's when they're out there in the big, ugly underbelly of August. I'm sorry, Miss Amber. We didn't mean to accuse you. Damn it, I should have let Poe do it. Pope. I know you're just trying to find Joe. Here, go and visit Wes Marie. She's currently off school for a spot of R and R. Her head's a bit mushy, but... She purports to know where the missing children are. Thank you, Miss Amber. Miss Munro? Sorry, Miss Amber. <laughs> Thank you. Noted. I don't, th I don't think we're going to succeed again. Let's go see Wes Marie then. Let's not rush this. I think it could be worth seeing Miss Clay too. Okay. Hold I think we've seen Miss Clay here, Let's talk but to Ms. Clay. anything you say, milady, you can talk we've tried to the lady while we're there. Divide and conquer should be interesting conversations. Let's go, with Violet. Back again, Miss Monroe. Yes. How did you know? I'm not helping you do dishes now. There he is in a gravel driveway, and I saw your reflection in the window. <laughs> We've hit it the end with Joe. Oh dear. Want to dry? Oh, fine. Sure. I feel bad not to. I know I haven't not done that yet, but you. I feel uh, bad. <laughs> I wish you'd come for a chat earlier. I was laying screed in the garage. Screed? Cement flooring. Wish I'd got the self-leveling stuff now. <laughs> Hiding bodies. <laughs> Silly. If I was going to do that, I'd use my industrial grade meat mincer. I probably shouldn't eat here. Oh no, you should. We've always got plenty of fresh meat in the freezer. Perks are running a guest house, I guess. <laughs> Have you talked to Wes Marie Bolton? Not yet, but she is on the list. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't you have a dishwasher anyway? I did. He's under the screed. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking or not. I'd go see Wes Marie. 17 Hunger Lane. Perhaps Joe was one of the missing she talked about. Let's hope not. That didn't change either. Wes Marie's family stayed at the guest house once. Talked about the missing. The missing? She didn't know any more than that. Miss Clay said she'd never spoken to her. A dead end. We've wasted time, Poe. We should have gone to Wes Marie first. Hindsight's always 2020, Munro. There's no time for math, Poe. Let's go. Uh, agreed. Oh, we're back. Marie, here we come. People don't normally want to hear what I have to say. We do. We want to hear about Joe Watts. If I tell you what I think, I'll topple my meds. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Paul. We're not going to tell anyone. You can... Go on, Monroe. It's okay. You can trust us. We're from the radio. <laughs> It's Miss Clay. 
She ran this after school club green for life. I was in it. She made us make a list of those with the most environmental impact in our class. I did it. It was me. I made the list. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. You have to help and you need to. It's okay. We're gonna help. You just need to take a breath. She'll have him in the woods. At Hell Park. Oh, we know. We have to hurry. She'll kill him if they don't pay. A ransom? His parents. He is being ransomed. That's new. If they pay, she'll donate the money to charity. It's sick. It's gone too far. And what if they don't pay? I don't know. I left when I saw it. What did you see, Westmary? Miss Clay. She was turning him into trees. A dryad. A what now? A dryad. Someone who's part human, part tree. We need to go. <laughs> How, Park? Yeah. Where's Marie? Where's Marie? You did good. We're gonna save Joe. You wait here and we'll be back. I don't think we are. Again. Joe! Damn it. Joe? Joe! Joe! Oh my god. He's alive. He's alive. Only just. We need to get him out of here. We did it. What? Miss Clay? No, she's not here. You're safe. She's a tree. It's okay, Joe. She's We're a going tree? To get you home. You're home. Monroe, we have a fan. I'm just trying to untie you, Joe. Can, can you stand up for me? Monroe, help, please. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. I can walk. Are you hurt? No. It's just dizzy. Let's get you home. I can't... I don't know how we managed to pull that one off this time. It felt like we weren't going to. It all felt the same. Do you think we'd have been as quick to save Joe if Frankie hadn't warned us? I'm not sure I'm going to credit Frankie with saving Joe. I guess not. I hope Joe's doing okay. According to his father, Joe is absolutely fine. Other than talking about people turning into trees, cults and dryads. You know, the usual. August <laughs> is insane, isn't it? Would you want it any other way? We never found out who a vet was either. No, well, I mean, we do know. Will always remain a mystery, Monroe. But we don't know how to... There must be more to this that we're missing. That you can catch a vet. Un moment, maman. J'ai fait mes devoirs. Gotta be. Next time. Well, we did Dark it. Nights I'm happy with that. This is what we did, is it? We've really got to refuse to help Violet dry out, but I always feel too bad doing that. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, we did exactly what I wanted to do. I still feel like there's more in there, but I will play with that, around with that myself in my own time. Because I feel like there's so much, so many layers. There's so much extra stuff hidden deeper and deeper behind all the different choices. That you could literally be here forever and not see it all. So we're going to move on to the next one. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out there, and I'll see you in the next episode.